If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. A portion of an Arizona freeway was closed in both directions Tuesday due to a crash and hazmat spill. The State Department of Public Safety stated that the closure on Interstate 10 between Rita and Club Roads in Tucson was extensive and urged motorists to avoid the area. A commercial trucker tank rolled over on the freeway causing a spill. Primary County officials stated that the substance that spilled was nitric acid. An alert directed everyone within a one mile radius of the spill to take immediate shelter. The Tucson the Tucson Fire Department stated that it was on the scene with other agencies to clean up the area. There was no estimated time to reopen the road. Nitric acid is a highly corrosive chemical used in manufacturing and fertilizer. Several areas have been evacuated. Authorities have not stated if there is any danger to the public. The spill came just weeks after a train derailment in Ohio that leaked toxic chemicals into the air in the town of East Palestine. Um, I don't really know what to tell y'all anymore. Um, Because it seems like as every day goes by, there's always some type of spill. There's some chemicals, um, you know, being released. There's some type of danger that is directly out there that's not specifically being talked about in the public. Even in a video that I was able to provide for you with the clips, you were able to see some of the vehicles still going directly through the gas. And this is a highly corrosive material. Matter of fact, let me just read this, right? This is what it said from the wiki. Nitric acid is a inorganic compound with the formula HNO3. It is a highly corrosive mineral acid. The compound is colorless, but older samples tend to be yellow cast due to decomposition into oxides of nitrogen. Most commercially available nitric acid has a concentration of 68% in water. When the solution contains more than 86% HNO3, it is referred to as fuming nitric acid. Depending on the amount of nitrogen dioxide present, fuming nitric acid is further characterized as red fuming nitric acid at concentrations above 86% or white fuming nitric acid at concentrations above 95%. Nitric acid is the primary reagent used in nitration. The addition of a nitrogen group typically to an organic molecule, while some resulting nitrogen compounds are shock and thermally sensitive explosive, a few are stable enough to be used in munitions and demolition, while others are still more stable and used as pigments in ink and dyes. Nitric acid is also commonly used as a strong oxidizing agent. For me, I'm looking at everything as a test run. Um, we have the UFOs. We got the train derailment. We have this going on. You know, water is being poisoned on an everyday basis. You have the air, of course, being poisoned in a multitude of ways. This is, in a sense, what it is. The only difference is, is for the shock and awe to see if they can get a potential rise in fear directly out of people is to see how um, the public will react if certain things transpire. If they don't get a reaction, then there's going to be something a lot bigger that's going to take place. You already saw what took place in East Palestine, Ohio. There was not a major reaction that took place from the people that live there. You can look on social media. You didn't really see it. You can look by way of the local news. You didn't really see it. Um, so because no major reaction happened, that means that they can just keep doing it and they don't got to worry about silencing anything because people are going to just want to go back to their homes. People aren't going to make a fuss. Uh, people aren't going to want to try to really broadcast and get the information directly out there. Of course, the mainstream media is not going to really tell you anything about it, especially the top mainstream media. They're not going to say anything about it because everybody is pretty much all in cahoots up until something happens. This is when they have to 
put in their karma and then they're like, okay, well, we got to tell the truth about something. We have to, you know, put a little bit of something out there in order to balance out what it is that we did. Like I said, in East Palestine, Ohio, I promise you, sooner or later, a lot of those people are going to end up about 15, 20 years from now, they're going to be running a commercial on television talking about if you were in East Palestine, Ohio, between this age and this age, in between this year and this year, you may have cancer due to this chemical spill that took place. Please call this number because we have a lawsuit that is pending that is worth hundreds of millions of dollars to pay out to the residents that were inadvertently affected by this chemical spill from this company. That, that's what it's going to be. That's what it's I'm not sure if people are ever actually going to wake up and look at the things that are specifically taking place. Um, and how it is that they throw certain things at you in order to get you to not look over here, right? If they have you looking in the air at UFOs, they're obviously doing stuff on the ground and they're doing stuff on the ground, right? This is nitric acid. Yo, this is corrupt. Like, yo, if this, <sighs> all I'm saying is they're literally poisoning the air and they're poisoning the ground. They're poisoning the air they're poisoning the ground. When you go to East Palestine, when you look at what specifically took place, look at a lot of the information that is there. Again, I'm just going to keep reiterating this because as I look around, you don't really see people talking about this story. Still, for whatever reason, I don't know why it is that people aren't really talking about this story. I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. I'm not sure how people aren't really trying to post this all over TikTok, IG, YouTube, I anywhere that there's social media, there is a presence of people, a population of people that will potentially listen. I'm not sure why it is that people aren't specifically putting this out there. They literally poisoned that whole town. They had to evacuate the whole town for about a good week, if not maybe a little bit more. There's not really any type of embursement that is going on unless you had to pay directly out of pocket or buy use a credit card to stay in a hotel or whatever fees for food and all of these other things that you, you know, in a sense, have to do. Medically, they're not really trying to do nothing. And you pretty much have the rail company staying completely silent again. Why was there a fire directly on the tracks before the train even showed up? And then you say that you got these things to monitor the railroad tracks, but yet nothing went off. They don't have anything to specifically make sure that everything is everything on those tracks. Like I said, it was deliberate. It was to happen on purpose. It is a test run. That, that is clear cut, plain and simple. It is what it is. This is what it is. And the innocents got the response that they wanted. Because they can get one or two responses. They can get the shock and all, and then, you know, they'll know what to do next time, right? Or then they can get a response like this, and they're like, oh, you guys didn't really move around. You didn't really want to, oh, you're still coming back to your homes and your town. You don't really care? <laughs> We're going to do this again in other small towns. But more than likely, when they do it again in other small towns, it's not going to hit the radar at all up until probably a month or so later. Because as I told you guys before on this platform, I literally found out about this about a week plus after it initially took place. Ridiculous. This is a thousand percent ridiculous how people are allowing this. They're watching this and they're allowing this to happen and they're not saying nothing. People can raise a ruckus and, and, and yell to the top of their lungs about any and everything else. But when it's something that actually affects your health, your living situation, your neighborhood, your city, your state, your town, your water, your food, right? When, when it's attacking the farmland, the air quality, oh, everybody's silent. Magically, nobody has a social media platform. Nobody can make a TikTok. Nobody can make an IG. Nobody can make a Twitter. Nobody can make a YouTube. There should be countless videos talking about this researching about this. The research for this should have started the exact moment this happened. Like I said, there are going to be so many casualties from this 
people are not even going to understand the totality of what took place in East Palestine, Ohio. Not even going to understand it. The closest thing that I can actually give you that's in the United States that took place was Flint, Michigan. And the craziest thing is that what happened in Flint could easily happen anywhere in the United States. Again, this is a first world country dealing with third world problems, and this is because of the politicians and everybody that's in charge do not care. Everybody's up for sacrifice for the highest bidder so that they can pad their pockets to get money. That's what politicians do. The role of the greatest liars on the planet. They feed the people a lie in order to get the money, in order to get the trust of the people so that they can get an office, so that they can just get fat off of tax dollars and all of these other things that are directly out there. They're there for the sole benefit of themselves. And in order to benefit themselves, they have to sacrifice the very same people that voted for them and put them in office. Pay attention to that. That's sheep voting for wolves and then the wolves turning around and then eating the sheep that sat up there and voted for them and put them directly in office. See how that works? See how that works? It's an endless supply. It's a forever circle. The only way that the wolves can't get fed is if the sheep stop voting for them or if the sheep change the system. But yet the sheep won't. Because they really feel that somehow, some way that the wolf has a heart, that the wolf will, you know, finally come to his senses and figure out that we all have to work together. No, we don't. And they're showing you that. They're showing you that. And then the craziest part about Flint is the fact that you had a black man by the name of Moses West. Yet again, this is somebody else that I've covered, done quite a few videos on that actually, in a sense, tried to help the problem. Right. Try to help the people in Flint and to show you how diabolical they are. Let me just give you a little bit of a refresher course. They drained fuel. Uh, They added something to the coolant lines. They played with electronics. And that's not typical vandal stuff. Less than a week after bringing free water to Flint, Moses West says the green machine he designed to do just that was vandalized. Once they broke into the machine and uh, uh, they destroyed the, the generator. Very technical. They knew what they were doing. It wasn't just, you know, random vandalism. Not at all. Uh, they destroyed the battery. Uh, they put metal in the fuel system. I saw that when I was cleaning the fuel filter. West is a military veteran who travels across the country to areas in crisis, bringing a machine he designed like this one that literally makes fresh water out of thin air. He put the green machine out for people along Saginaw Street on Thursday and was hoping to make a big impact. He says before the vandalism, they were giving hundreds of people free water every day. So I just I just want to give you a refresher real quick, just just so that y'all can understand what took place. You got a black man that's a military vet. He is retired. He he knows and understands that the world has an issue. The world is at crisis and he wants to help during that crisis. He wants to be there for the people. He created a machine with his own money. Right. And he takes this machine or these machines to different areas that are suffering that don't have clean water. He brought it directly to Flint. And you know what happened? The powers that be came through there hired some goons real quick that's knowledgeable about engineering and they wanted to disable that machine you know why because he was giving away free clean water you know why that's a problem because they charge you for water they don't want you being able to have anything for free they want to be able to profit something that's naturally reoccurring on this planet a black man figured out a way devised the plan devised the method devised the machine in order to get people clean water and he's not even charging for it he could literally charge them like ten dollars yo you want to fill that up all right i got you ten dollars he could easily do that that's not what he did he brought it there hundreds of people was coming there to get water i had other videos showing the lines of people parked there waiting to sit up there and use that machine and they broke that machine down on purpose so that the people would not have clean water so that they couldn't take baths i'm talking about you got people that have lung issues respiratory issues they're going through organ failure they got skin lesions they're losing hair losing eyesight you got people that have passed You got people that came down with Legionnaire's disease because the water was poisoned by the way of the politicians that they put into office. And these same politicians hired goons in order to disable a machine that's giving away free water 
something that is naturally occurring. He just found a way to harness all of that and to give it to the people. Now, just think about that. If he can come up with a machine to give you free water, just think about electricity. But do you think that they would actually give you that? No, because why? They want to profit. They want to make money. Like I said, everything that we actually need is directly here on this planet, but it's controlled. Everything is 100% controlled by the 1%. This is clear cut what they're showing you. They're showing you that they can do any and everything that they want to directly to you in front of your face, and you're not going to do nothing about it. And they're right. They're 1,000% right. I wish that I could sit up there and say that they were wrong, but they're 1,000% right. They can do any and everything. They can sit up there and, and, and project blue beams from stuff. They can sit up there and do uh, 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 fracking. They can come up with you know sound technology to start killing off aquatic life on coastal areas. They can sit up there and cause earthquakes. Like I said, they got y'all looking everywhere. They got y'all looking everywhere. But where you're supposed to be looking and paying attention to. This is how they do it. And I told y'all way back about a year or so ago that the Coliseum is open. Because they realized the moment in time that when everything that was happening for two years was going on and people really started to focus and look at people as people, they were like, oh, no, we can't have this. (laughs) <laughs> everybody's starting to get a mind. They're starting to critically think. They're starting to question. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to open up everything. We got to open up everything. Uh, 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 open up NASCAR. Uh, open up MLB. Uh, 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 open up uh, uh, NCAA. Uh, uh, open up the, 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 the NBA and, and the NFL. Open up everything. Open up everything. We can't have this. <laughs> we can't have this at all. And that's exactly what they did. They put the distractions directly back out there so that people can stay divided on a variety of topics and not focus on the things that they're supposed to be focusing on, which is the fact that they're getting rid of the middle class and all that's going to be left is the poor versus the rich. It don't even matter if you make anywhere upwards from 100000 a year to a million plus a year. You're still going to be considered poor. And people don't even understand it. They're going to start to make 15-minute cities. If you don't know what 15-minute cities are, you might want to go look that up. It sounds great. It sounds awesome. But once you actually start looking at what that is, it ain't so great. But like I said before, um, people can, you know, I guess keep not paying attention. People can, you know, keep in a sense not listening to the conspiracy theorist, <laughs> you know, and and wanting to say that everything is laughable and all these other types of things. But like I said, the information is directly out there. You can clearly see a lot of these things directly with your own eyes, but a lot of people still don't want to pay attention. <laughs>